OnePlus 6 is the most amazing phone of this year. The camera, well, it's amazing also. It's very fast, uh, very good sensors, a lot of details, uh, that portrait portrait mode, it's amazing. And, and you get essential features and very, very easy to use. Uh, not to mention that you get that 4K at 60 frames per second and super slow motion at uh, 1080p with 240 frames per second. So let's analyze this camera. I will show it. Uh, I will show. Uh, I will show it to you here. All the settings, uh, what it offers, how it works in um, low light conditions inside a room, for example, as you can see here, and what can you set on this, and what are the options inside the camera application. As you may already know, you get on this phone dual camera on the back, 16 megapixels and uh, another one with 20 megapixels. All these pixel matters because you'll get a lot of details and when you are zooming on a picture where, or, or when you want to crop a picture, it's very useful to have um, many pixels as possible. So. Uh, that camera 16 and uh, another one 20 megapixels uh, are amazing. Um, this is how it looks. Uh, on the front you get a secondary camera that has 16 megapixels. If you are wondering how it uh, performs in uh, low light conditions, well, it's amazing. Don't expect that uh, phone camera uh, to shoot super amazing pictures when you are in full dark or on a super dark street. Um, you have to shoot in raw picture and to edit it later. And this phone, it offers you this feature. You can start very fast the camera, you can double click the on off button and it will start extremely fast. And also you can set this option on off to take a picture when it starts. As you can saw earlier, it is very fast and also when you take pictures, it works extremely well. You get all these features, you can select timer, you can select HDR on off or automatic, you can select the, um, uh, the image, uh, the image uh, aspect ratio uh, 4 by 3, 19 by 9 and 1 by 1. And also you can select obvious uh, the flash. In, in this way you can um, you can touch your screen and select the area where you want your camera to focus. As you can see here, very simple. Also you can touch and hold your finger to block that uh, focus and uh, to maintain it. This is the portrait portrait mode. An amazing, um, an amazing feature on this phone. Uh, I have also the Galaxy Note 8. It has also a feature like this, but this one on the on the OnePlus uh, 6, it's much way better. You can uh, take a portrait mode with this depth effect very close to your uh, to your object, and also you can take it up to two meters away from your object. With the Galaxy Note 8, you have to stay uh, far away from your uh, for, from your object. You can take a picture uh, that close, and to have this uh, portrait effect. I don't know why. These are the images. Images, as you can see, I'm very very close uh, to to this object, and I still am able to take this uh, portrait effect. You can change. Um, you can change from portrait to photo or video, just sliding uh, left, right on your screen, and also you have this two uh, X uh, possibility. But take care. The second camera is not is not there for um, for a zoom effect. It's there for your portrait effect, for that depth effect. So uh, be careful. These, these are the options, you can select your resolution, 1080p, you can uh, go up to 4K 60 frames per second. In this way you can choose, as I said earlier, very fast, 
what you want to do photo video portrait slow motion pro mode time lapse and uh, panorama you can take up uh, videos for example in slow motion um, in format 1080p with 240 frames per second or you can go uh, to a double frames per second 480 frames per second but you will have a 720p resolution i will choose always the 1080p resolution because the video will be uh, amazing and uh, you will get a lot of details and a better resolution and the slow motion effect is impressive here at 230 frames per second as you can see here this uh, this video okay this is the pro mode you can activate it very simple if you want to go beyond the automatic mode just activate this pro mode here you will be able to select your um, iso your colors your focus your metering your shutter speed and you will take pictures like a pro uh, it's it's very well made and very simple to to interact with this pro mode as you can see here and i really like this uh, this design and this interface Anyway, it depends on you. In my case, I'm 99% using the automatic mode because it's, it is uh, well optimized. All your pictures will, uh, will be clear and very beautiful. And that HDR mode, it's above the HDR mode implemented on uh, Samsung Galaxy Note, for example. So the HDR mode, automatic mode, it's amazing. This is the camera. Overall, what can I say more? Um, I'm really impressed with this. And as a Note 8 user, I will say this camera is better than the camera available on the Galaxy Note 8. This is my opinion and I have the both uh, phones and this is my experience. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks.